Okay, uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about elastic file system. So this is this is also another uh, storage product available in AWS Amazon Web Services. So if you see here, uh, go to services, storage and content delivery. So we have completed S3 and another one is elastic file system storage. Okay, so it is a uh, Amazon Elastic file system storage is a file storage okay service for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 instances. So <coughs> okay, so what is Amazon Elastic File System? So Amazon Elastic File System uh, provides a simple scalable file storage for using uh, Amazon EC2 instances in the AWS cloud. Okay, so with Amazon EFS, storage capacity is elastic. Okay, so we no need to uh, limit. This is the my storage size limit. So we no need to space space. Suppose today I have uploaded, I have I have stored some data like uh, one GB data. So that EFS file system storage have the capacity 1 GB. So let's say I want to upload 10 GB. So it will automatically increase your EFS file system. Okay, so we no need to worry about the how much size it is allowing us. So it is the disk is full. So we no need to worry about the storage space. So if we use this EFS file system. Okay, and it is uh, uh, it is a uh, capacity is elastic and it is a growing and shrinking. Suppose you have deleted some files, so it will automatically uh, shrink the size. And if you added more files to your EFS, so it will increase your size, uh, EFS storage size automatically. So, so your applications have the storage they need. So when they need it, so uh, let's say. Uh, your application using a file system access okay so you have hosted your application in multiple instances so it is very difficult to uh, uh, allocate separate storage for each instance so if you create a EFS uh, storage EFS EFS storage so uh, all instances can uh, access this EFS because this is a distributed file system so this is the file system uh, storage available under your network so any system can access this file system storage in any EC2 instance so one you have to mount this EFS storage to your EC2 instance so then you can store uh, whatever data you want to store in that EFS storage you can put it uh, directly from your EC2 instance so you can access other EC2 instance data also. So it is a uh, shared storage for all your uh, EC2 instances under your VPC network. Is it clear? So Amazon EFS has a simple web services interface. So that allows you to create and configure file systems quickly and easily. So we don't need to worry about the uh, creating the EFS file systems. So very quickly, we can create a file system and we can attach that file system to our EC2 instance. So if you are not using EFS, so general scenario where we struggle uh, generally, if you are working as a system administrator, so you are taking a daily backups. So uh, currently you have one TB hard disk. So your one TB hard disk is full. So next you have to buy another hard disk or you have to increase your hard disk. So for that you need, uh, you have to raise, uh, you have to raise a invoice with your uh, 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 account accounts team and you have to get approval. Then you have to buy another uh, uh, HD and you have to connect with your uh, instance and you have to take a backup. So if you use EFS, so we don't need to worry about those things. So here uh, we don't need to worry about money also. So whatever 
resources we used we have to pay only for the uses of the resources okay so this service manages all the file storage infrastructure for you so avoiding the complexity of deploying and patching and maintaining complex file system deployments okay so basically how it works so amazon efs provides file system storage for your amazon ec2 instances in the aws cloud okay with amazon efs you can create a file system okay and you can mount the file system to your instance uh, amazon ec2 instances and then read uh, any data from the efs and you can write any data to efs storage from your ec2 instance okay so you can mount any uh, efs file system and amazon ec2 instances in your vpc okay so through the network file system uh, version is 4.1 protocol is supporting currently in uh, if you want to mount uh, your efs the file system version is 4.1 so we have to uh, use nfs version 4.1 protocol to mount the nfs okay so so this is the high level uh, architecture so how we can create a efs and how we can access that efs uh, with multiple uh, ec2 instances or uh, how we can access that efs on our particular on our vpc virtual private cloud so let's say in the bottom this is our efs okay elastic file system storage here okay and this is uh, this is entire uh, gray block is aws okay and in this uh, gray block we have a vpc we have created our own uh, virtual private cloud in aws so these are the subnets okay so in each vpc we, will, we can create a different subnets so here we have a different subnets with uh, different uh, availability zones okay so so here we have a, uh, a elastic file system storage so we have mounted uh, we have to mount this to a particular subnet so we have mounted this this is the mount target uh, on this uh, subnet and this is the mount target and this is the mount target for your subnets okay this is the subnet level uh, mounting and in the ec2 instance if you see the ec2 instance this is the network interface this is the ec2 instance level uh, mounting okay so we have the file system here so this file system we no need to worry about in which region we have to create the file system okay so uh, which availability zone we have to create so we have to create a file system on a particular region generally we will have uh, all our vpc in our single uh, origin so in origin we no need to worry about the availability zones okay so whatever availability zones are available in that uh, region so this efs will be accessible to all the availability zones okay is it clear any doubts okay let me walk through demo so once log into your aws management console services storage and content delivery elastic file system okay currently i have one uh, efs so let me create another one create a file system so here it is showing currently i am in uh, virgin region so an amazon efs file system is accessed by ec2 instances running inside one of your vpcs okay instances connect to a file system via network interface called a mount target okay so this is the uh, vpc id uh, vpc name so till now we are not created any vpc so if you if you change any region here 
so in each region we will have a default vpc okay if you create a, a different vpc we can see those vpcs here okay till now we have we haven't created any vpc so we are using the VP, default vpc here okay so this is the default vpc so in this default vpc if you see here create a mount targets so what are the mount targets so uh, these are the these are the availability zones uh, available in this region okay so we have on uh, es east re, east hyphen one region and uh, in that region we have four availability zones so what we are doing here so we are mounting this file system to these all uh, four availability zones so these are all four availability zones these are the subnet subnets for uh, subnets are available in this vpc so so each availability zone has a unique uh, subnet okay so and here we have uh, added security group for, for that okay so and then click next so these are the default it is coming so if you create uh, a vpc so at the time we have to create our our uh, subnets and security groups as well okay so once you create a vpc these these things will automatically populate okay so so based on the region we will have these availability zones in this virgin virgin uh virgin area uh we will have a four availability zones if you change to uh Oregon or uh, singapore some other uh, origins so we may not see these many availability zones so uh aws uh, how many availability zones are providing in each region so those many availability zones we can see here okay in the virginia we are having four availability zones okay so i have selected four availability zones here and then click next so here it is asking add tags so you can add tags to describe your file system what kind of file system it is so uh, let's say i'm giving the values efs demo and the key is name only so it is a general uh, purpose is general purpose means it will give uh, some read and write operation a speed up a normal uh, speed up okay so so if you want more speed then you can go with the max io so input out uh, input output streams okay so this will increase some performance so, and it will reduce your increase your cost also okay so based on uh, your requirement only we have we have to go with this max io option okay see here max io performance made is optimized for applications where tens hundreds or thousands of ec2 instances are accessing the file system so if you have uh, hundred thousands of ec2 instances then we can go with this because all hundred and thousand instances are accessing one file system it may uh, cause problems okay so then we can go with this option okay click next So here, this is the review page. So this is the tag name, and then create a file system. So it will take a couple of minutes to complete uh, the EFS creation process. Okay, so here you have created a file system. You can mount your file system from an EC2 instance with nfs 4.1 client install so so if you want to see the instructions or documentation so we can click here and we can see the steps so these these are the steps so using the amazon ec2 console so uh, these things we know so how to create a, uh, a ec2 instance and connect to that ec2 instance next we have to uh, run install the nfs client okay we have to 
just all the NFS client in our uh, EC2 instance if it is not installed. So this is the command. So if you are using the Amazon Linux or Red Hat or Susie Linuxes, we can use the M command. So if you are using the Ubuntu, we have to use apt and get. Okay. So once uh, this NFS utils are installed in your EC2 instance, next we have to make dir and then we have to uh, we have to mount the we have to mount the uh, efs into our ec2 instance okay so let's say um, let me open D. okay so i have launched my putty session here so okay here i am uh, first step we have to install a sudo m install install my So this is NFS iPhone utils, right? So NFS iPhone utils, okay. So and then enter. So here it is showing a latest version install and latest version okay. nothing to do Use this. let me check the version So we have installed. Okay, if any problems, we will see this one. So loaded plugins priorities update more upgrade helper. Okay, package 1.3.0.2 already installed and latest version. Nothing to do. Okay, it is clear. So, uh, next we have to make a directory here. So, let me create a directory mk dir efs. Make the uh, EFS demo. Okay, I have created a new directory here. Next, we have to mount the EFS file system. Okay, so this is the uh, command to uh, mount your uh, file system. Okay, so here uh, let me explain this sudo mount 
iPhone T, NFS4 is the uh, file system type, and this is the uh, version 4.1. And this is the if you don't know the availability zone, we have to it will get the availability zone. So, and this is the file system ID, and this dot uh, EFS, and this is the uh, yeah. Okay, so let's copy this directly. So we don't need to change this one. So this, uh, let me copy this one. So this is the cartoon. This is the uh, EFS demo. So if I close this one here, so this is the file system ID, okay? And this is the av availability zone, okay? And the, if you want region name, so this is the region name. So if you see here, so this is the example one. So till now it will give you the uh, availability availability zone. So here availability zone means so in which availability zone our EC2 instance is there. So let me go to EC2 instances. Okay, so my EC2 instance availability zone. Yes. So this is my availability zone. So if you know the availability zone, you can directly change here. Okay. So this is the availability zone dot. Okay. Availability zone dot. File system ID dot. EFS dot. Region dot. Amazon the AWS dot com. Okay, so this is the uh, our EC2 URL. Okay, so and this is the mount mount directory. Okay, so let me run this command. Should mount type T. Yes. It will take a couple of minutes to mount. Here, uh, for us, it is showing uh, N Virginia. So, how do you know the uh, region name? So, see here, uh, this is the availability zone. So, availability zone US siphon east iPhone 1C. So, I, so, we have to remove this alphabetical uh, uh, characters, characters, first character, uh, last character. From the availability zone so this is the region okay so how many availability zones are there in your region those regions will uh, uh, attach those region names will uh, re not region availability zone names will gi uh, will give like this so a b c d e like this okay Check the status.
This, this should not take this much time. Let me check the MFS services run. Check in a different way. Yeah, we will have a troubleshoot guide also available in the uh, documentation. So we can go with the uh, troubleshooting. Uh, if you work with any Amazon services, okay, we will have a documentation for each service, okay. In each uh, documentation, we will have a troubleshooting uh, on that service. So, so what are generally what are the issues we will get 
so they are already uh, provided those topics here so we can see see them here okay so these are the topics they are written here uh, command files wrong incorrect mode option not yet, timed out yeah thanks on them files this is the issue for us so <coughs> file system hangs for a long time and then fails with a timeout error after a minute or two for example so connection timeout okay so action taken this could occur because either the amazon ec2 instance or the mount target security group are not configured properly for more information see creating security groups so verify the the mount target ip address that you specified is valid so if you specify the wrong ip address and then and there is a nothing else that ip address to reject to the mount so file system mount using mount target dns name files so this could be the reason uh, maybe we have to review our security groups so let me is it to mount instructions these names these are the dns names okay then so let me manage tags manage file system access yes ED, so all availability zones are accessing the same security groups. So let me review the security groups as well. So go to EC2 instances, security groups. So this is the default one it is using. Okay, I got it. So it is allowing all traffic here. So here uh, EC2 instances. So our EC2 instance is used to the different security group, and our file system is using different security group. So so that's why it is not allowing to mount. Okay. So uh, can change the security group here. So let me. This is the security groups. So content of security group you can change security group. So once we attach the security group to EC2 instance, we cannot change. So let me do it here. So edit manage file system access. So it will show you the security groups here. So let me delete this one. And let me add this one. So we can add multiple security groups. Okay. So I'm adding this one also. So I'm just save it. So I have updated. Uh, our EFS okay mm -hmm. so now let me execute this command again
Uh, okay. Uh, meanwhile, so I will explain the script. The script. Okay. So, so if you are launching a new instance, so without running these commands, so you want to mount this device automatically this EFS file system to you want to uh, automatically attach this EFS file system to uh, EFS to your EC2 instance we, we can uh, put some commands in the user data while creating the EC2 instance so this is the script we have to put there so let me explain this script so first I am uh, running the upgrade command okay installing the nfs utils okay so and this is the efs file system id so we have to uh, get this id from the uh, efs so this is the file system id we have to take it from here okay so these are the just a variables so like this we can write a linux script so and the another one is efs uh, mount point so where you want to mount this uh, efs so we have to uh, specify the path of the mount point and instance availability zone so if you don't know the availability zone so we can uh, give this URL so it will automatically fetch that uh, availability zone and it will store that availability zone in this variable okay so next one is instance region so here in this instance underscore agent we will get the uh, re, uh, we will get the availability zone. So what we are doing here is, so we are removing a last character from that instance underscore agent variable. So let's say uh, es hyphen east one c. So here we are removing the c character from that uh, availability zone. So that will be the our instance region. So the next one is efs underscore dns. So this is the uh, our EC2 instance URL uh, to mount the mount the EFS to our EC2 instance. Okay, so availability zone dot and EFS file system ID dot EFS dot instance region dot Amazon AWS dot com. Okay, so here what we are checking here if this uh, if this path is already uh, attached to FS tab, uh, so so if you are directly a mount, so it won't save. So in the in the first session or uh, second session, we have discussed about volumes, attaching volumes and detaching volumes, right? And mounting volumes and unmount unmounting volumes. Okay, so so first we faced issue. So we have mounted the one volume and after restart that volume is not mounted so that one is automatically unmounted uh, in the restart right so so to overcome that problem so here we are checking that if that file system uh, that mount point is already uh, added to fs tab or not so if it is already attached mount already exists so if it is not exist in the fs tab so we are creating uh, the mount point directories if it is if these directories are not exist so we are creating the directories here and finally we are mounting we are attaching this uh, uh, mount the efs to ec2 instance okay so this will add one line uh, to your To your uh, mount point okay so why it is showing Sorry. so 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 this is this line we are attaching to etc fs tab next we are mount iphone a means it will mount whatever uh, whatever mount rules we have added uh, in this FS tab, it will mount those devices. Okay. Again, connection timed out. 
okay so let us do this way okay let me launch So let me split out to PC2 and PC2 input interfaces. So connect. And meanwhile, we can create a, a new instance. Okay. Okay. Let me go to ECT instances, launch instance. So here I'm choosing this one. Um, so free tire. So general purpose and next configure instances. So here we are choosing the default VPC and your preference default subnet in available VPC. So you can choose any subnet here. So next one is yeah, advanced details. So here I want to execute this script. Give the space here. Okay, and in address, this is correct version. And uh, this R size and W size is read and uh, write size. Okay, and uh, and how much time out you want? Six hundred seconds. So address. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, it is still running. Okay. Next, add storage. So this is the storage, default storage. So EFS demo, configure security group. So select system when I am choosing this one. Okay. Then review. Launch. So, choose so suggestion keep it. Training I am choosing. So, launch instances. Instances. Okay, so it will be ready a few minutes. So, 
meanwhile we can check this one so i think again it will throw the timeout is it clear uh, any doubts so far this one is it to i am user advanced authentication approves the private key will not allow to run uh, so what we have to do so we have to go to security groups uh, select the security group edit inbound so here oh so custom SSH and this is not a custom anyway. So let me save it. See here, uh, my view reconnect now. We can connect because uh, what is the problem here is. So it is allowing all traffic all and the port range is allowing and here it is their default custom and it is allowing uh, from this network only okay so because we are not in this network so we are accessing this outside the network okay so so that's why I have added this one SSH port to connect to NSPR putting okay so now let me Connect. Yes. From sudo yum update to all updates. Okay. Go to instances. Still it is loading. So we can check the status. So where we can check the status? Uh, where? Oh. So here we can see the cloud init dot output. First one is created. These comments are executed automatically. EFS underscore DNS command not found. Okay, throw on some error. And uh, this installation also it is already installed in latest version. Okay, so EFS underscore DNS command not found. EFS underscore DNS.
Okay, this was failed uh, mounting the device. So, well, let us verify the status so okay, it is fully up and running. <coughs> okay, now let me execute command here. So, okay, dive. EFS EFS demo next one is this is the uh, let me check the availability zone for this so east one C only should have mount hyphen t and fs4 and usv to 1c and the system id and the folder name is efs demo okay let's enter oh my god we have to change this management system default default So I have changed all security groups to default. Okay. So I will refresh here once. So all are available. Lifecycle state is available. Here you can see the status. Okay. Now check on here. Yeah. Now it is mounted. Let me check here. So it is mounted. Okay. EFS demo so you can put whatever data you want stored in this EFS storage so let's say um, um, nano EFS EFS demo showing permission denied okay mm -hmm. let me copy this control x n so if you want to change the permissions so currently it is we will have a root uh, root is the owner so he can only uh, read and write so other users can just read so what we have to do so if you want to change the permissions also you can change it here so change uh, mount uh, if you want to change the owner that was fine okay so um ch1 and ec2 one user is the username and ec2 hyphen user this is the group okay so for this user and this group we are giving the owner access okay so and the EFS demo this is the folder name okay if you see here so currently so now we can do anything here so see this space so EFS demo so nano so demo test of hello I know how to configure 
EFS saved. Enter. Okay, so we have created a file. So if you mount this same device to another uh, another uh, EC2 instance, we can see this data. So let me. S B L K. So it is not showing that network file system. Okay. Okay. Let me change. Let me try it this way. Training edit instead of creating a uh, new instance again. So, uh, traffic custom and public right. So there is the security group here. Just uh, trying this option if you work on it. So, again, we got the same issue. Um, so, what we have to do here so I am editing again this file system. So, previously I have removed the training uh, security group, now I am adding that one also. So I have basically if we add to this that is enough because our instance is on this availability job. Okay, so you can work okay, save. Okay, let me run again. is not working okay let me create another instance very quickly so launch instance again select linux mj linux same configuration It is not executing. Okay. I'm not choosing any advanced here. Okay. Tag next. PFS demo. Next one. Um, select it just two group. So I'm selecting this one. So anything I missed. Launch. So launch. Okay. So it will be ready in a couple of minutes. So what we can do? <coughs> okay. Anyways, it is not working. Let me kill this process and and edit this file system also. Manage file system access and remove these security groups. Private security group. Okay. Save it. Okay. Now let me go to 
these two instances. Okay, it is running, so we can uh, connect this AC two instance. Okay, and go to Windows C three. session new site and the uh, EC2 hyphen user uh, advanced authentication so training okay okay login So Meanwhile, I can type the command sudo uh, sudo m install fmdi nfs utils. Okay, it is already up to date. Okay, so okay, dire DFS mount test. Okay. same origin same region so we are in the same region okay. okay it is mounted very good so if you see here so it is okay let me change to you see here we have a demo file okay if you open this The mounted EFS to two EC two instances. Okay, and save it. Okay, so I have updated from the new instance. Okay, so if you go to this previous one okay so here we have a, a file nano a demo you see here the text came here is it clear any doubts so let's say uh, if i copy any file to this directory so where we can find so if we refresh here so we'll have a EFS test and this is a, another instance so this is for EC2 
Hussein. So I am changing to my another instance. So, so if you see here, here EFS demo and in this instance uh, EFS mount test. Okay. So let me copy one file to this folder. Um, let me take it from desktop. So here EFS mount txt. Okay. So I am moving this file to here. Okay. So I moved this file to uh, in this instance. So if I go to another instance and refresh here, so I'm, I can see this file because this is a shared file system. So we have mounted this shared file system to uh, multiple EC2 instances. So that's why we are able to see the files. So these files are shared to across uh, multiple EC2 instances. Is it clear? Any doubts? Sorry, I forgot the recording. So, so to unmount, we can run. Come outside this folder and show view mount and EFS mount test. Okay, it is unmounted. So if I go to this folder, so there is no content available here. Okay, so if you mount again, so it will show the data. I mount it again. See the space. So we are able to see the data. So like this, we can uh, create EFS and we can mount the EFS to our EC2 instance, and we can mount at any point of time. Unmount at any point of time. Okay. <coughs> so if you have any doubts, you can. Uh, go to docs.aws.amazon.com and here you can find the documentation. <clears throat>